Are you tired of trying to figure out the perfect feeding schedule for your little one? Are you constantly struggling with when, how often, and how much to feed your baby? Look no further, because we have the solution to all of your feeding woes. In this video, we share tips on how to create a successful feeding schedule that works for both you and your baby. So tune in and say goodbye to feeding stress for good. Hi there and welcome to Yardy Baby. If you're looking for a channel that features baby-related tips every week, then you're on the right track. So make sure to subscribe. Today, we're talking about creating a successful feeding schedule for your baby. As a new parent, it can be overwhelming trying to figure out when, how often, and how much to feed your baby. But don't worry, we're here to help. First and foremost, it's important to remember that every baby is different and will have different feeding needs. However, there are some general guidelines that can help you get started. One important factor to consider is your baby's age. In the first few weeks of life, your newborn will need to eat every two to three hours, day and night. This is because their stomach is very small and they can only eat a small amount at a time. As they grow, they will gradually start to eat larger amounts of breast milk or formula and will need to eat less frequently. It's also important to pay attention to your baby's hunger cues. These can include rooting, sucking on their hands, or making sucking noises. These are all signs that your baby is ready to eat. It's important to respond to these cues promptly, as newborns have a small stomach and need to eat frequently to keep their energy levels up. In terms of how much to feed your baby, it's generally recommended to feed them until they are full and satisfied. This may vary depending on your baby's age and the type of milk you are feeding them. For example, breast milk is more easily digestible than formula, so your baby may need to eat less frequently. It's also important to remember that your baby's feeding needs will change as they grow and develop. As they start to eat solid foods, you'll need to adjust their feeding schedule to accommodate these new foods. This can be a fun and exciting time for both you and your baby as they get to explore new flavors and textures. When it comes to introducing solid foods, it's generally recommended to start with single ingredient purees, such as fruits or vegetables, and gradually introduce more complex flavors as your baby gets older. It's also important to pay attention to your baby's cues and only offer them as much food as they are interested in eating. It's normal for babies to refuse certain foods or to not eat as much as they normally do on some days. In terms of establishing a feeding routine, it's generally recommended to feed your baby at the same times every day. This can help your baby know what to expect and can make meal times more predictable for both of you. It's also important to create a relaxing, calm environment for feedings. This can help your baby feel more comfortable and can make the feeding process more enjoyable for both of you. It's also important to be patient with your baby and to not force them to eat. Trust your baby's appetite and let them eat at their own pace. It's also important to be flexible and to be willing to adjust your feeding schedule as needed. For example, if your baby is going through a growth spurt, they may need to eat more frequently or for longer periods of time. In terms of feeding your baby while you're on the go, it's generally recommended to have a few bottles or a flask of breast milk or formula ready to go in your diaper bag. It's also a good idea to have some snacks on hand, such as dried fruits or crackers, in case your baby gets hungry between meals. It's also important to consider your baby's feeding habits when planning outings or trips. It can be helpful to pack enough bottles or formula for the day and to plan for any potential delays or unexpected events. It's also a good idea to have a clean, quiet place for your baby to eat and to try to stick to their usual feeding schedule as much as possible. In terms of feeding your baby at night, it's generally recommended to establish a bedtime routine that includes a bedtime feeding. This can help your baby wind down and get ready for sleep. It's also a good idea to keep the lights low and to create a calm, quiet atmosphere for the feeding. It's important to remember that it's normal for babies to wake up at night to feed, especially in the first few months of life. As your baby gets older and starts to sleep for longer periods of time, they may not need to eat at night as frequently. In conclusion, creating a successful feeding schedule for your baby involves paying attention to their age, hunger cues, and establishing a routine that works for both you and your baby. 
it's important to be patient and to be willing to adjust your feeding schedule as needed. By following these tips, you can help ensure that your baby is getting the nutrition they need to grow and thrive.